Hello traders, welcome to Allies Blue. This is Deepen Guru, and in this video, I'll discuss about the zinc. So this is zinc uh, daily chart. So why took this uh, daily chart? You can see last uh, few days zinc price was falling right from uh, level of two zero six around. Right now we can see our price is one ninety four. So uh, I use the daily chart to find out the supporting level. So here you can see we have the uh, seen a supporting level here. If you see, I just connect a supporting level around 192. All uh, right, 192. Uh, uh, this is a, this is showing a supporting line. So why I drawn this line? Because not in 200 moving average. So if you see the previous market behavior, have you seen this is we have seen this is a supporting line here. And if you see here, here was a strong support. Have you seen this is a support line? Support. Uh, so resistant line, resistant, resistant. And now you can see here the price is forming a strong resistance here. Here also supporting line, right? Here is a resistance line, resistance line. And here another supporting line we have seen. Now here you can see this is a strong supporting line. It's showing in a daily chart, right? And another you can see here is a 200 moving average. Right now it's a black one. Have you seen in a daily 200 moving average? Just let me adjust it. Yeah, this is a daily 200 moving average. If you see in a four hour chart, right? So four hour, you can see this is a supporting line, right? Support line, it's just showing last higher point than the supporting line. So now you can see this area is a uh, it is a buffer zone, right? So you can see like that. Uh, let me draw this one. So now you can see this area in between this line, it is showing a hesitation zone. If price not able to break this area, this area, so it is a high probability to market bounce again upside, right? So that is why we have to wait any confirmation for the buy here. So according to your trading strategy for the uh, entry point, because everybody have their own strategy, right, for entering this market for the buy. So uh, I just uh, showing you that uh, at a what level, at a what point you can enter, right. So this is, we have seen this one, because if you see in a large time frame, like uh, let me explain first uh, in a daily, right. So if you see in a daily time frame, price is still uptrend, right. Zinc. People are thinking uh, uh, by seeing this uh, small time frame, uh, it's a placing downtrend. Yeah, it's a right, uh, absolutely right in a 15 minute in a small time frame, it's a downtrend. But if you see in a large time frame, price is still going up because they are creating higher high and higher low according to the price action method. Have you seen this? Uh, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high higher low so we are looking for the higher low that means the retracement of this pbs wave uh, it is called uh, corrective wave right according to the technical word it's called corrective uh, that means that means uh, this is the uh, impulsive wave and this is the corrective wave impulsive wave and the corrective wave so that means this point might be a last point of this corrective wave right so this, uh, that means it is a support uh, we have seen this is a support so it's a high probability to again create a new high right that is why uh, we have seen so when we have seen the last point or supporting point of this corrective wave so we never gonna take any sell position in in this area right so that is why uh, who people are or trying to enter waiting for enter for uh, in this market so you just wait to buy confirmation right if you are getting here because this is a supporting point if you are getting here for the buy confirmation here right so you can go for buy so right now you can see here uh, the price is running in a range small range in a 15 minutes so uh, it will be a, a range breakout trading right uh, you can call like a range breakout trading so you can see this is our range right now price is running in this range right have you seen price is running in this range so we have uh, seen this is a uh, that means large time frame we have seen this is a corrective wave and we seen some supporting line here by using 
uh, various indicator right right like that this is a supporting line supporting line right so uh, we have seen this is a supporting line and this is called hesitation zone in between so price might retrace this area and again like that so sometimes what happened when price is running like this uh, range right a range what happened uh, like that they are running like that like that they will break this level who people are uh, buying it and placing just SL below here they will hit the SL and after they will start going up it's a highly it's a happening because the people are not able to find this hesitation zone it is called hesitation zone right this is hesitation zone this area so here it's just showing this is a hesitation zone that is why I'm telling if this is the line right so which is not accurately I'm able to draw right so what happens sometimes it is running like that running like that they will break this area who people are keeping SL just below 193 they'll hit the SL and start going up right it's happening in the market that is why as possible as if you are getting any opportunity enter in a lower point so you can go for buy and next target will be our previous resistance line right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching